everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Forever Skies. Everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Forever Skies. There we go. That that sound sounded way better that time. The first time I just kind of like around the word. Anyway, so new game. It is a survival sci-fi survival sandbox game with like really unique looking planets, and you build airships uh, to traverse them, which sounds really cool. There will be no other end of the world. Fair enough. So, returning to a Earth that got destroyed and maybe reclaiming it? Is that what's going on here? I thought it was going to be more of an alien world, but I guess not. Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. Then this one signal, and then silence again. None of us know what awaits you there, but there is a chance that they have found, a, found the virus, and then... It, wait. But if there's a chance that they have found the virus, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus sample at all costs. The fate of, uh, fate of us all depends on you. The Ark. Interesting. Holy shit. Return to planet Earth. Okay. Well, this environment looks incredible. Okay, so we want to just kind of run around looting everything. Requires solid state battery. We have a scanner. Hold the scan. Expedition computer. Sagittarius 2 expedition computer. The source of the transmitted rescue signal. It needs power to operate. Okay. Just snag stuff. Okay, so I'm actually getting more of a Subnautica vibe from this. Everything's been screwed up since we found that damned virus. We're all getting sick, equipment's breaking down, and then there's the Noah, this Noah si situation. The power blew out again and the door's locked. I'll check if the beacon tower is a compatible battery. Interesting. Do you remember the forests? Interesting. Okay. I hope this doesn't look too uneven for you guys. I might actually mess with the settings a little bit. Unfortunately, my computer has this really bad issue. Uh, quality presets, let's bump it down to high. It has this bad issue where it likes to uh, just run the, like, go up to max FPS as just, like, for fun. Uh, and it's a bit of an issue sometimes. That is locked. Satisfy your hunger. Power source. Well, we have some we have canned water. Synthetic debris. Hmm. Oh, right. There's the exit out back and up. Okay, I think I can go up this. The last component requires an extractor. Oh, sun melon. Okay. Wait, there was something about it. Threat? Photophobia virus. A sorbate. Fresh fruit with low calorie value. Picked from the bush. They spoil quickly. Well, I might as well just eat all of them. Okay, and I can't do anything with that. And we're just going to kind of keep eating stuff until I'm vaguely full. Looks like we're good. New task, cure the photophobia virus. His mission was to map out directions and find resources even this far from home. He's been dead for nearly two months. The decomposition process was slowed by climactic conditions. Interesting. So yeah, it's Earth, but not quite. Well, we might as well take that out. I don't see anything else here. And we're gonna need, we're gonna need tools if I wanna grab some of these things. Oh, my poor computer. Does not like this. Use the computer. Looks like we've got a lot. Okay, undelivered message. No one went crazy. That bastard stole the sample and our airship. The radio doesn't work, and this pro th that's probably his doing, too. We're stuck here. We're stuck here. We're sick and can't work. We'd known about what awaits us beneath the dust. We'd never have gone. 
Whoever read, reads this, find Noah. He's doodling these signs everywhere. Easy to spot. Be careful. He's dangerous as all hell. Sagittarius 2. Virus. Photophobia virus. Looking into the sun causes visual disturbances and injuries. Interesting. So, we have to cure things. We have knowledge, health parameters. Oh boy. And we have all sorts of stuff. Kind of hope there's like a read all at some point. Oh, you know, you know, now that I'm thinking about it. Hi. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely progress. Uh, hopefully I fixed my frame rate issue. Uh, I figured out how to limit frame rates on the NVIDIA control panel. So I'm hoping it worked. Holy shit, this person's unhinged. Uh, but looking at all of this, knows drawings from when he was locked in a cell by fellow ex his fellow expeditioners. Humanity, technology, and nature combined and blend together in these paintings. Okay. But yeah, with the whole, you were infected, find the cure, very Subnautica, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. Biologist body, lost expedition, collect and study biological sta samples, he was the one who was supposed to find a cure for the virus that threatens us all. Noah's madness, it, it's all because of this damn dust. Noah heard voices, he was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He said he knew what to do and could return to Earth uh, what to do so we could return to Earth again. He wanted us to help him to follow the voices in his head, lunatic. We locked him in a cell for his own good, but the bastard hid the extractor and ran off while everyone was asleep. Canned water, food, some other things. But yeah, very Subnautica, very raft, very wild. Damn. There's a whole bunch of these. I don't know where this guy got all the paint. Of the metal debris. Okay. Depart from the location, find the source of lecithin, and find the cure. Okay. Drink dirty water. I don't know. I got canned water in the meantime. What else do we have? Are they even running around scanning things? Uh, for resources. Take a bottle. Bottle dirty water. Maybe we can get more. What are these? Synthetic casks require an extractor, metal debris, airship to-do list. Install the rudder, repair the fabricator, place the fabricator, recycle metal debris for resources, build the deck extractor, build the engine. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff that I can kind of snag in here, much of which I'm not gonna be able to mess with. What? Holy smokes. Metal scaffolding extractor. I'm gonna be able to just harvest all of this stuff, dang. Okay, what is this? Close. Oh, pretty. Oh, and control ship. Wait, this? Oh, this is the airship. Interesting. Well, what else do we have in here? A microscope. Broken microscope. It appears the expedition conducted some research shortly before they passed away. What are these things? Okay, you might hear random noises from my environment. Unfortunately, I'm recording this right in the middle of dinner time, and I think somebody was running a blender. Uh, I'd apologize, but limited time. Too many demos, not enough time. Destroyed virus computer. Used to test virus samples, the expedition must have encountered something important. Okay, synthetic stuff, some other things. I think this whole thing is kind of scuffed and busted beyond all repair. Uh, mostly trying to see if there's anything else that I've possibly missed. Okay, here we go. Engineer's body. He was in charge of operating and maintaining equipment. He designed devices and adapted the resources and components uh, he found for use. Okay. Do we drink dirty water? Sure. Ouch. Lobster chili. If I consume it. Oh. Wait. We've cured it? Just by eating it. Weird. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a couple of these. Oh. I should have scanned. I wasn't even thinking about these things. Well. We'll find another one, I'm sure. But yeah, I, I should have scanned. 
Okay, do we have anything else? Unfortunately, I don't have too much of a jump. So place a fabricator on the airship. Oh, here it is. Lots of vitamins, great nutritional value, causes dehydration. Uh, uh, let's take another one. I don't know if I can do any cooking. But that might solve some of my problems. Pop down, grab the synthetic debris. Okay, so how do we build anything? To-do list. But how do I craft? Let me check settings. Gameplay controls. Controller type. Key rebinding is soon. I just want to know what my controls are, man. Because, like, we've got the airship, but... That's not helpful. Unless this is... Oh, this is the fabricator. Oh, yeah, that'd do it. R, R to rotate. Oh... Oh. I mean, oh, toggle snapping. Oh, thank you. Is this, I don't know, probably fine. Use basic water fabricator. So water condenser, membrane, purifier, but we need synthetics. Okay, well, we can craft some metals at the very least. Printing completed. And synthetics, but I don't have enough synthetic debris. Oh, raw resources from object remains. Deck extractor. Might be what I need. Okay, place on airship. Oh, I see. It has to be here. Okay, so we can just harvest whole chunks of this building. Okay. Inventory full. My inventory? Oh. Clearly. Okay, let's go back to this. Or or not? Oh, we just have metals. Uh, well, I'm getting thirsty. And a little hungry, but you know what? We're also kind of injured. There we go. Okay. Go back to this. Okay, these things have synthetics in them. That's what we need. I really appreciate this. This is not at all what I was expecting it would be. Uh, but I truly didn't necessarily know what to expect. I try to go into most games that I play. I don't want to say with like a fully open mind, because that's not necessarily true. Um, but I, I prefer, like, first impressions. Uh, I find them to be very valuable. And so it's kind of neat to find a game that is, like, totally surprising to me. So we just have synthetics. Oh. Okay, so what else can we make? So we can make a bed. Insect catcher. Insect catcher and a lure. Cooker. Water condenser. Water purifier. Start with that. Yeah, my... My poor computer is uh, cooking itself a little bit recording this. Hopefully get some op optimization going for actual full release. Okay, take the water purifier in valid position. Okay. Do we just put it up here? Yeah, this is so very Subnautica. Requires dirty water. Purification in process. So what else do we have? Water condenser. Unable to eliminate all contaminants, so the resulting water is dirty. I mean, sure. Okay, so while that goes, I wanted to take a look through this. Uh, let's see. Back to the scanner. This should be the engine. What else do we have? Data card, metal debris, or synthetic parts. What is this? An electric cooker. Ooh. Printing completed. Okay. It's toggle snapping, not that it matters too much. And kind of scoot scoot this in. We don't have a whole lot. Ingredient slot. Oops. And then water slot. I have no water. Bottle of clean water. Okay, cool. Oil. I'm just gonna try and make whatever the heck that is. 
And we'll see what it nets me. Okay, well, we're here. Debris. Stuff. Let's see. Old canned water. I don't think there's anything else. But yeah, we have a boiled pepper. Take a boiled pepper. Is that any good? Food, water, health, and energy. Cool. Well, I'm a little peckish. Okay, I was gonna get a water condenser. I'm gonna just pop up here real quick. I wonder if, oh, no. I have no bottle. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's go back down. I guess this is what the condenser is for. Uh, let's see. It requires dirty water. Oh. Oh, cannot place inside. Interesting. Uh, hopefully at some point we get the ability to, like, put a frame on this. Uh, I'm just gonna... Put it here. Or, you know, just expand the platform just by a smidge. It doesn't need to be much. Engine. Needs a lot more things. Synthetics, cool. Alright, let's go back to this. Now do- oh my god. I had enough range for that. That's wild. Oh wait. That actually like, knocked over the building. As we'll have to find a better, better supply of synthetics as we go along, but honestly, that's fine. I mean, alternatively, these dust globs might actually just have synthetics, it's hard to tell. Okay, so we wanna... What is the build? Oh, build tool is for expanding everything. Electric cooker, engine, and synthetic fuel. I need uh, two more synthetics. I guess I just shoot the globs until something gives me synthetics. Okay, good. So we get the base resources from them. Right, let's just go back to shooting things as we go by. Or as they go by. I might want to get another one of these that actually points forward. The dust bunnies are nice but not definitely not perfect what if this is gonna have multiplayer I think I think I saw a screenshot that specifically had uh, I do not know what is going on up there uh, a screenshot that had like four players and boy I can see this being a ton of fun you know get a couple of friends you have your pilots uh, that's flying everybody around and everybody else is kind of the looting crew I mean obviously the pilot pilot would still hop off too but like I don't know, I just could see myself having a ton of fun flying around in this in this universe with Shell. Uh, or other friends. Okay, I'm just gonna put this up here. And I think we're gonna need some synthetic fuel. Luckily I can make a whole bunch of it, and it does not take forever to make. Nice. Okay, so it looks like we can we can take we can make one more set of this. Right, so well, that goes. What the hell is that thing? I have no idea, but I can't I can't grab it. Okay. Take the other fuel, and then the other thing we need is a condenser membrane. Printing completed. Take that. Because, yeah, we're going to need a reasonable supply of water. Okay, cool. So that'll get us dirty water in the long term. Go back up there. Refuel. Anything else I can make. Because I was thinking I'd maybe want to get the build tool. Oh, but we need a solid state battery. Okay. Oh. That sucks. So, yeah, that's that's how we get this door open. So, to some degree, I think I might need to move my airship. Well, I 
guess as a good time as any. Uh, let's go check the condenser, see if it's got water yet. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, well, I got a can of water. I'm assuming the lower... Let's see, speed, state, altitude. So shift is... I don't know. Let's see, now you're flying into the dust wastelands. In the sandbox, you'll visit new locations, investigate light sources, collect resources, and expand your airship. Gameplay is a time limit displayed in the corner of the screen. From this point on, the save system works. You can interrupt the game at any time and continue later. Support the development. Wishlist Forever Skies. Cool. I want to do is actually get over here. Can I, can I go down? I can go down. Cool. Yeah, what I want to do is get around to the start. There's some glass here that I could snag, too, if I wanted to. That's obnoxious. But here's the thing. That's all I needed. Okay, because now we can go back and get the build tool. Oh, well, I'm here. Is there anything else? Yeah, a whole bunch of glass. And some metal that I can just snag. Oh, we're out of range on that one, but we're not out of range on this. Of course, that could fall on me, which could be a little bit of a worry. Okay, oh boy. Here, this is a problem. Please, please stop. Okay, let's, let's let's take a look around. So that's that's my pod. I don't think there's anything here. So I saw something about investigate light sources. So I think that's going to be what I do. Some of these buildings might have interesting things, but it seems like a lot of them are just horrible rubble piles with not a whole lot of redeeming factors. But I, I swear, oh, there's one. So we're at max alt altitude. Interesting. Oh, we have some rotten food. Okay, so we're gonna go forward. And, eesh. Question, can I cook it? I don't know. Oh, and there's our, there's our bottle. I was wondering what happened to that. Are you good? Uh, let's see. Bottle dirty water. Okay, cooking station. Nope. Back to purifying. Okay, build tool. Build menu. Room, cockpit. Metal wall, metal floor. Door. Railing it and catwalk. Okay, looks like they're kind of expensive, but still. Anyway, we should probably also turn this so we don't just ram a thing. Like I said, I feel like this would be pretty sick. If I could just, uh... Let's see. If I could actually have somebody else piloting while I'm grabbing stuff. Like in a very raft-esque manner. Okay, let's uh let's actually pay attention. Oh, I unlock speed. There we go. Yeah, this looks interesting. Cuz yeah, this very much follows kind of the the raft and subnautica vibes of you are exploring this ruined world uh, that's not necessarily hospitable to you. No, I think I'm going to need to go over to this a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Do this, and then scoot down. I, I guess that's gonna have to be... You know what? Okay. Rather than listening to that 
I hope they I hope they fix that a little bit. Like raise the dust layer just by oh, I don't know, maybe about a meter or three. Just enough that I can go up and down with uh or like link up with some of these platforms without it immediately being like I mean, it sounds like my guinea pig did when it was hungry. Or just wanted food. Or attention. Like, the little sucker was demanding as hell. And so, I mean, it it would just kind of scream at you in this exact same manner. Do we do another catwalk? Mm. The problem is I can't really strafe this ship. I guess we'll just scoot forward, get the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. It doesn't give me any collision warnings. I'll see if I find any food here. I mean, I probably should. I'm seeing plenty of, like, plant life. Oh, sun melons. Perfect. Of course, we have phytophobia, but still. We have an empty bottle. We eat this. What is this? Oh, energy. For being sleepy. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. Yeah, food rots uh, shockingly easily in this game. Build a turbine. Huh. Bottle some dirty water. Looks like there's something here. Oh, well, there's a solid state battery. Let's see, do we have anything else? No, and I don't see anything up high. I think that was the solid state battery I was supposed to use um, on the build tool, maybe, but because I uh, I cheesed it and got the initial one back, I guess now we just have a loose one to use on whatever the heck I want. I am so sorry, computer. Soon we will be done with this game and you will not have to just constantly overdo it. Okay, metal debris. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And yeah, we have the sun melons. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, I wonder if I can actually, like, properly inoculate myself. Probably. Okay. Oh, this does open. Ugh. Really uncomfortably. Data card. Synthetic debris. Anything else? No. I wonder if we can get an extractor that's portable so I don't have to look at some of this. Hand water. Weird drink. And then, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to want to extract. But it doesn't look like there's anything else, like, here. Except for, I guess, some metal debris in there. Anything else? No. Alright, so we go back, and I don't see anything else. Cool. Yeah, so I think what we're supposed to do is effectively fr fly from uh, from point to point grabbing resources, uh, each of them highlighted by... Um, Oh, this is a problem. I don't know how to get back onto my airship. I was hoping that I'd be able to mantle up. But no, that was a different game. Damn. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there was a brief window of time. Use deck extractor. Hell yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's a little scuffed and is something that I think needs a bit of a uh, bit of adjustment. Just because bottle requires a bottle. Wait, do I not? Did I not? Do I not have? Oh.
Old food ration. Huh. All right. I have no idea what that's going to make me. We should probably make an insect catcher. Oh, we can also make a bottle. That's good to know. Okay, we have a contaminated meal. Oof. Okay, so old isotonic drink is better than nothing, and we got some clean water. So, yeah, do not, do not dirty water with anything. That's a bad, that's a bad move. Okay, and snag this. Oh, my inventory is abysmally small. Okay, can I bottle two? No. Yeah, so we're gonna need a lot of resources if I want to do what I want to do here. Uh, I guess here's what we're going to do. Baseline, I think we're done with this area. I'm going to get over here so I can actually point my gun at this little chamber and we're gonna just rip it to shreds. And then I think we might just go take a look at the next place that we want to go to. Oh, shut up. I mean, alternatively, maybe maybe we build a room, build a bed. Uh, build a room, build a bed. And, uh... Just to see if that's how you, like, save or something. Huh. There's rain. Damn. Okay, that's actually a really cool rainstorm. It's also really hard to aim this thing. Oh shit, you can just rip the floors off. Well, I certainly hope I grabbed everything out of that. I wish I wish this was would lock on just a little bit more reliably. But it's fine. Anything else? Like, looks like there might be some more stuff, but I don't know. Okay, deck extractor is good. Yeah, I should do some railing. Business. Oh, oh no, that's just the rain effect. Okay, so why don't we do external interior room? Oh. I can't, I can't do it. The engine's in the way. Uh. Small cockpit. Metal wall, metal floor. Okay, what if I do a little bit more catwalk? And then go back to this, then metal floor. Cannot place outside. Good to know. Room? Bang. That didn't work. Well, that works awkwardly, so it doesn't actually have to be connected. I think it's just this engine engine is in my way. Uh, you know what? No, I don't really want to... Oh, my engine's been running this whole time. Okay, well, that's fine. Also, it's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing in the rain. It's my windshield wipers. Oh, it's okay. I'll live. One way or another, really cool game. Definitely needs a bit of a performance pass, considering it what it's doing to my... I think it's my graphics card. I could be wrong. It doesn't really matter. I like the, um... I like the, like, immunity setup, and, like, worrying about little diseases, and maybe even curing them. That has a really neat kind of sandbox element to it of, like, maybe running around and, and doing research and finding the cure. And then, you know, not having to worry about photo photophobia. Uh, just because? Now, uh, let's see, unstuck, save. Well, I don't know how to save yet. I've only got six minutes left on the demo. And frankly, I think it's a good time to stop. I kind of want to go look at that other platform. And then I think I'm just going to go down into the dust layer, regardless. But... Once again, for yet another game kind of in the the Raft Satisfactory-esque thing. And in fact, I'd actually say, like, this is very Raft. Uh, more than Satisfactory, but has, like, a little bit better of a presentation story-wise than Raft did. But I love the fact that it's it's very 
open. I don't want to say like open concept, because that's a little too house. But it's it's free form. Uh, the beginning of Raft here a little bit more just kind of loose. Oh, fuel's out. Right, I forgot about that. Oh, turbine. Enhances maximum fl- Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alright. I don't know what that noise was. Maybe me looking at the sun? What are these things? Uh, oh, insects maybe? And yeah. Do not, do not look at the sun. Or maybe look at the sun, I don't know. Ow. The virus hurts you when you look at the sun. Yeah, no kidding. Can I get that? Nah, it's out of range. Okay. Let's just keep snagging stuff. I thought the sun was like in a completely different direction than this, but still. Um, but yeah, I could... I can see this being... Oh my god, how freaking honky is this thing? Uh, well, whatever, don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, so we need some fuel. And I'll make one more. I don't really care what happens. So what did the uh, turbine even do in retrospect? Turbine. Maximum flight altitude. Oh, we can go up. Interesting. There we go. Okay. So I guess we can just go over stuff. So I wonder if there's even more up high. Well, it certainly looks like a really cool game. And yeah, like I said, I love the idea of flying around, kind of freeform, exploring, and potentially having a crew for it, if if that is actually going to be one of the intended things. Because, like, I would love to more or less just be playing this with Shell, exploring all these places, you know, having her pilot us around while I handle, you know, cooking and grabbing resources, or vice versa. Uh, you know, I, I could pilot and she could be doing the management, who knows? We could build it up and kind of have like this this really cool looking flying house thing uh, as we grab resources and explore whatever the heck this, you know, whatever the heck remains of this world. I love the dust aspect of all of this. It's a very neat visual style. I thought this was going to be alien planets, but I'm very glad that I was wrong uh, because honestly, it's a cool game. But if you guys want to try this demo yourselves, it is available on Steam now for hopefully the duration of the next fest. I'm just gonna go into the dust, see what happens. Um, I don't know how, like if they're going to call damage imminent. Destroy me, I wish to die. Oh, this is nothing short of annoying. Fare, fare thee well, airship. Cause of death, fall from height. Oh, and we're just back here. Do I get to keep all my stuff too? Maybe. The damage to the ship? I, hard to tell. I think mostly it just annoys you into submission. What happens if I bonk? I got a test. Freaking nothing. Well, you know what? Whatever, that's fine. So, anyway, I guess with all of this said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons to check out. And I'll be back for more of this one for sure. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.